What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Airborne in the house dropping you guys the latest and greatest cryptocurrency news and updates. Today is April 12th, 2022. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Celsius. So I don't talk about Celsius too often, but I do have some crypto on that platform and I do earn rewards slash interest. But I got an email this morning stating about a change to the rewards program and it doesn't look too good. So if you guys think that's interesting, stick around. Tell you all about it. All right, guys. Hope you're doing good today. Smash that thumbs up button on your way in. Consider subscribing if you aren't subscribed to this channel. And turn on those bell notifications so you guys get notified as soon as I upload a video. So, yeah. Today's topic of discussion is going to be Celsius, man. Uh, but before we do begin, I'm going to do my typical market overview. Check the pinned comment section down below and skip to the Celsius section if you guys want to skip the market overview and just jump straight to the news. Really appreciate it. So, markets uh, recovered a little bit today. It was it opened up pretty good, and then it dipped down, and it's starting to come up a little bit right now. But uh, Bitcoin, you know, it's just under 40000 still up 1.05% the last 24 hours, and about 39968 Ethereum's up about 1.36%, sitting at $3,025. Uh, BNB's up 4.55%. Solana's up 2.57%. And Cardano up 2.55%, sitting at $0.95. Cents. Top gainers last 24 hours, we've got Shiba Inu. You know, it was recently listed on Robinhood, along with uh, a couple other crypto coins. I believe it was Compound, Solana, and uh, Matic. Um, Goldfinch Protocol up 12.4%, $2.72. Polymath up about 10.74%. Anchors up. Ryan Protocol, you know, handful of uh, crypto coins. Losers the last 24 hours. Podical down 12.25%, sitting just over six cents. Kyber Network down about 9.78%, $3.86. And Jasmine down about 8.73%, sitting just under two cents. Today is April 12th, 2022. It's National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day, Education and Sharing Day, International Be Kind to Lawyers Day, Big Wind Day, Licorice Day, and Yuri's Night. There it is for your holidays for April 12th. Moving on over to Crypto Bubbles. Check out the top 100 real quick. Looks like it seems to be a sea of green right now. Like it's, uh, you know, that's good to see. A little bit of red. Just a little bit of red. Let's look into my favorites. Like I said, Compound just re recently listed on Robinhood, which is good to see. I did put out a video earlier today talking about, uh, you know, the CPI rates, some of the Robinhood coin listings, and uh, just a couple other things. So go and check that video out. Um, Stormex is up 6.9%. That's good to see. Like I said, Matic recently listed on Robinhood, up 3.9%. Sidecoin's up. Elrond's up 2.4%. And uh, Voyager seems to be neutral right now, buck 48. Total crypto market cap. We're still trying to break that $2 trillion. Uh, according to TradingView, we're at about $1.82 trillion. Uh, CoinGecko always lists it a little bit higher than normal. Man, we're so close. Up 2% last 24 hours. We're at about $1,957,000,000. So we're, we're so close to that $2 trillion. Maybe Asia wakes up and uh, puts us over the $2 trillion mark. You know, it seems like <laughs> the bottom's in. Might be reversing soon. I know I've been saying that a lot, but uh, I got a chart here. I'm going to show you in a second. Bitcoin dominance, still trading sideways a little bit, 41.52% for your Bitcoin dominance. And the Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index, we are now in extreme fear for today. 25 yesterday, we're at a 20 extreme fear. Here's a little bit of hopium before I do start talking about the Celsius um, email that we got earlier today. But this is a, this is a tweet from Plan C. I like his content, it's pretty good. But uh, he tweeted, for the fourth time in Bitcoin's history, we have left the blue zone. The last three times this occurred, the Bitcoin bottom was already in, and a massive bullish uptrend followed. Probably a coincidence. So he's taking a look at the long-term holder supply and the short-term holder supply rate of change. So if you guys look here, it uh, looks like at the end of 2019, or end, end of 2018, we hit this, uh, you know, this blue zone right here. And then back in about 2015, late 2014, early 2015, we hit the blue zone and we just touched it here. You know, it looks like in the middle of 2012. But every single time we hit that zone, we looks like we had a massive run up. See, so we hit it here. We had, you know, a little run up, not too massive here. And then uh, after we broke that spot right here, we had the, you know, beginning of pretty much the bull run. 
So some people are saying we're in a super cycle. Um, this this you know chart on chain metric kind of tends to point that way. Um, but you know we dipped all the way down to this blue, almost the very bottom. I mean we actually touched it back the last two times, but uh, we just barely touched it, and uh, we crossed that you know line. And the next move up, you know hopefully we go parabolic, man. I don't know. I don't know. Just something to think about that I'd share with you guys that I thought was interesting. All right. So like I said earlier today, I did receive an email from Celsius talking about an update for U.S.-based customers. So keep in mind, if you guys aren't in the U.S., it's not going to affect you at all. But this is going to go into effect on April 15th, 2022, which is this coming Friday. Um, and it is changes provided to path forward for users in the U.S. to continue holding coins and earning rewards with Celsius. So you guys don't know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, different exchanges, even Voyagers, a brokerage, uh, getting, you know, hit on from different uh, states, uh, New Jersey, Texas, uh, same thing with BlockFi, um, just the rewards programs that these companies are offering. So it's they, they, it's, they want to deem it a security, and, you know, the government, the federal government isn't, hasn't came to a conclusion with it and uh you know if these states do move forward unless they change you know some of these things that earn rewards program uh you're going to be sol so here's some of the details for you guys i do have an article i want to go over but the one article that i'm about to go over didn't mention this so um all coins transferred to celsius by users in the u.s prior to april 15th 2022 will continue to earn rewards so the existing coins will continue to earn rewards from april 15th onward for as long as they remain in the earn account. So if you're a US-based customer and you currently are uh, you know, staking, earning rewards in their platform, uh, up until April 15th, you're gonna be grandfathered in, you're gonna continue to earn those rewards. But on April 15th, 2022, this Friday, they're gonna be launching a new custody solution for the for you as users in the United States. Um, custody account will serve as a centerpiece of your home for crypto, providing a secure way to navigate across Celsius products, including store, access, borrow, spend, earn, and grow. However, if you are a accredited investor, this won't apply to you. So you can become, an, if you are accredited investor, and after April 15th, you can transfer you know, coins to your platform or to the Celsius platform, you're going to continue to earn those rewards. Whereas if you're a non-accredited investor, and you want to transfer coins uh, on April 15th or later, you're not going to earn anything. Only what you already have in there is what you're going to earn type of thing. So let's just jump into the article real quick. I already mentioned a couple things. But uh, only, like I said, only verified accredited investors in the U.S. will be able to add coins to their earn accounts starting on April 15th, while users outside the country will be unaffected, which I also just said. Um, any coins transferred to the interest earning accounts before Friday will continue to earn rewards, like I said, but new transfers made by non-accredited investors in the U.S. will be held in custody accounts, which is what I just said. Again, um, Celsius said the changes to its products were the result of ongoing discussions with U.S. regulators. Um, like, like I previously said, there was a lot of cease and desist orders against the platform, allegedly offering unlicensed securities with its interest earning accounts. Uh, Alex Mashinsky, you know, said that there's a big industry shift going on, paradigm shift going on in the whole crypto space, which I, you know, tend to agree is a big gray area. We're still waiting on, you know, confirmation from federal government, what's deemed as security and whatnot. In my opinion, just deem it as security so we all can move forward type of thing. Um, you know, he tweeted out earlier today at 10.58 a.m. to be clear. I am just sound like I keep repeating myself, but I just want to make this clear for you guys if you guys aren't you aren't clear. It just doesn't make sense to you. So it's only for U.S. users. Accredited, non-accredited, all coins currently in your account will continue to earn rewards for as long as they remain in your earn account starting April 15, 2022. So Celsius's earn accounts were the subject of a hearing announced by the Texas State Securities Board in September 2021, as well as cease and desist order from New Jersey Bureau of Securities related to the sale of unregistered securities. So here's a little bit of data uh, about Celsius, how much assets under management. They currently hold about $23 billion as of April 1st, and they pay out more than $912 million in yield and rewards since 2018. And then they have, you know, their rates have always fluctuated. You know, it either goes up or goes down, just depending on the market and who their partners are uh, with, wherever they're getting their interest from. Um, but they've offered up to 18.63% APY for crypto with 7.1% returns on a lot of their stable coins. So there's a quick article for you. Another question you guys are probably asking yourself, what exactly is an accredited investor? 
So, under the federal securities law, only people who are accredited investors may participate in certain securities offerings. People who qualify as accredited investors are not considered to need the protections provided by registered securities. Gary Gensler, where are you? Please protect me. They need to protect us because, you know, if we're not accredited, we can't make good decisions and they got to stop, you know, they got to stop, uh, they got to take away our earnings and our interests. Bunch of BS. Bunch of BS, guys. Do I qualify as an accredited investor? So there's no official process through which someone can register, apply, or certify to become an accredited investor. So that kind of seems like an open book right there. So if there's no official process, can you kind of make something up? Or I don't know. I thought that was a kind of an open-ended statement right there. If you meet any of the following qualifications, you meet the criteria of an accredited investor. So there's three things it seems like. You got to be income-based, net worth-based, and license-based. So income-based is a person who has an annual income exceeding 200000 or 300000 for annual joint income for the last two years. Or if you are a net worth-based uh, person who has a net worth of exceeding $1 million, either individually or jointly with their spouse. This net worth amount cannot include the value of the person's primary residence. So your house cannot be counted towards that net worth based uh, as an accredited investor. And then last, the license base. So a person that holds certain certificates, designations, or credentials, such as Series 7, Series 65, and Series 82 licenses. How can accredited investors confirm their status with Celsius? So this gets into a little bit more details for their specific platform. But all you have to do is provide a valid license certificate, obtain a certificate through verifyinvestor.com, uh, your attorneys to write something up, or a CPA, you know, proving what you have. But in my opinion, guys, man, I just think this is all BS, man. Just Now, now just because you're an accredited investor, um, you know, Gary Gensler is going to protect you I mean, if you're a non-accredited investor, Gary Gensler is going to protect you. But if you're, you got money, so you got money, you're rich, you're fine. You can you keep getting richer. But if you're not, you're not an accredited investor, and you're a poor guy, and you just want to, you know, earn some rewards to help hedge against this high inflation, Gary's going to protect you. And you know, I don't know, guys. It's just I think this is super frustrating. And, and when you think about it, uh, you still got Voyager. It's kind of funny. You know, I'm a Voyager fan, big Voyager fan. Uh, compared to Celsius wearing a Voyager hat, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully Brian Brooks can come up with something good, and uh, you know, at least we know if worst case scenario, if you already have your coins. I mean, this is just my opinion on Voyager. Worst case scenario, you could be technically grandfathered in, kind of like Celsius is here. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna come with Voyager if they're just gonna go the same route Celsius did. Uh, but uh, that could be devastated, you know. If you, if you stop earning interest and you're non-accredited investor on a VGX token or any other, you know, interest reward-bearing, uh, you know, assets on, you know, Voyager, uh, they stop taking that away. That could just plummet everything. So uh, let's hope Brian Book, Brian Brooks, and uh, Steve Ehrlich can, uh, uh, you know, fight this one out, stick their ground, and prove that uh, at least Voyager's reward program, their Voyager loyalty program, uh, you know, isn't deemed a security. So, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know down below. Uh, again, guys, if you guys are new to my channel, uh, consider subscribing if you aren't subscribed. Uh, also, smash that uh, thumbs up button on your way out, and uh, turn on those bell notifications so you guys get notified as soon as I upload a video. I'm curious uh, what you guys think about this. And I know there's going to be lots of questions. Uh, there's already some that I've been reading that like, if you swing trade, so say uh, after April 15th you're on Celsius and uh, you sell something or you buy it back, which actually I don't think you can. You just transfer it in and out. So I don't know. I don't know exactly how that would work, but uh, who knows. So again, guys, hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Crypto Airborne, out. Have a good one, everybody.